Okay, well, welcome to um, programme two of uh, Kingdom Today. And uh, today, our special guest is Gail Milne, who is the editor of the Glenrothes Gazette. Um, hello, Gail. Hello, thanks for inviting me here to see. Now, the Glenrothes Gazette is a principal newspaper for uh, Glenrothes and the uh, surrounding area. Glenrothes, of course, is a new town with a history going back, I think, about 60 years. Does the Glenrothes Gazette's history also go back to you about that time as well? Well, that's right. Uh, Glenrothes is celebrating its, its jubilee year the, the, this year. It's 60 year old, years old. Uh, the Glenrothes Gazette is not quite as old as the town, but mm -hmm. it's uh, about 44 years old, which um, is almost as good as being 60. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's a very popular newspaper and um, it does very well in Glenrothes. Now, the world's media has very much descended on Glenrothes for, for, for the by-election. That must be having an, an enormous impact on your paper, and also, I would imagine, quite a lot of responsibility as well. It's actually a huge responsibility because we are aware that the whole world's media is, um, is, is looking at what we're doing. Um, the connection there being, obviously, the Gordon Brown connection. Um, the, the issue with, with his uh, leadership when it comes to the, the general election in, say, 2010 or, or whenever it turns out to be the case. So we are aware that the, the, the national media is, is in town. They're, they're on every street corner and uh, the, the attention is actually quite phenomenal. What are you finding are the big issues for ordinary folk in Glenrothes and the surrounding area in the by-election? I was talking to someone about this earlier and um, the issues for the people and the issues for everyone else tend to be quite different. Uh, th there's quite a broad spectrum of issues. You have the, the local issues which are the things like the home care charges and the upgrading of the A92. Um, there are campaign groups active in the area for these issues and I'm sure they will continue to, to be active campaign groups. Um, on the broader side, we've got the knock-on effect of the credit crunch and the global financial crisis, as it is termed. Um, that has had the effect of rising fuel bills, rising food costs. Um, generally speaking, it's a little bit more expensive to live these days. That's a concern. It's a national concern, but one that's came along at the same time as an election, so it is having a bearing as an issue in this election. Are you finding this is the paper's biggest story, or has there been stories in the past that, that are as big as this? Do you think this is the biggest story in the paper's history? Um, I would say that you could probably only answer that in res retrospect. Mm -hmm. The Glenrothes area, for some reason, is no stranger to the media spotlight when elections <laughs> come around. and. Um, I have a very large feeling that in a year or two's time we will look back and realise how important the Glenrothes by-election is to the Labour Party or SNP and certainly I would have to say for Gordon Brown's future. Um, certainly that's a, a factor that's been pinpointed by the national media. They are aware that if SNP wins this by-election then certainly you can't deny that there is um, a knock-on effect, uh, possibilities of um, the Kirkcaldy seat being in jeopardy. Mm. Now, the, the, the media is changing. We, we live in an enormous uh, period, of, period of change, and in fact the exercise that we are doing today, web television, how, how do you see um, local media um, changing over the next uh, few years? Do you see more of an integration between print and video and all the rest of it? That, that's an interesting question. Um, I think when it comes to the future of newspapers, the future is local. I would have to say that local is the future for newspapers. Um, in terms of developing the newsroom of the future, the newsroom of today, we we're not looking to move away from print, but we are looking to integrate uh, multimedia skills within a newsroom and delivering that on a local level also. Um, we, we look at a story these days and we think, what can we do in print? What can we do with this story on the web? 
is there a possibility of audio is there a possibility of video footage for it and we are aware that certainly for us at the Glenrothes Gazette we have a weekly free, uh, publication frequency mm -hmm. when you're looking at the web you must be aware that you, you can keep the news more up to date than you can in print um, having said that you, the way you treat a print story and the way you treat a web story or a video story are, are completely different sometimes. And I think uh, all the different mediums um, complement each other. It's, it's an interesting period ahead and uh, something that we at the Glenrothes Gazette are moving towards in, in the same way that any other um, newsroom is across the UK. Uh, we're embracing the multimedia age. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, uh, Gail, for coming in and joining me on the, the Kingdom Today couch. So that's all from this particular uh, broadcast of, uh, of Kingdom Today.